am doing, I have done a video on how I pack up big stuff, not just small stuff because I don't just do jewelry, sometimes I do furniture. And if you watched my thrift haul video, you saw that I sold some chairs. So I packed them up and shipped them uh, to, to ship them. I also packed up a large um, picture, uh, not picture, a uh, piece of art. Um, so I'm gonna go through that with you also. Um, I, a, I try to use the United States Postal Service as much as I can because I think they're the best about taking care of the packages. And um, however, with uh, stuff that's over 108 inches, for me, it's cheaper to send it with FedEx. And sometimes I ship stuff with Greyhound Package Express. That requires you to go to your nearest Greyhound station. You pack it all up. They're fairly inexpensive. Uh, they're pretty good about getting stuff there, uh, non-damaged, but you do have to have the buyer go and pick the item up at their nearest Greyhound Package Express, and it's not always that convenient for people, so they have to be willing to do it. So if you want to ship something from, for, from door to door, you have to do it through FedEx. Uh, I sell on Etsy, so I can give those options. I can give the option of um, the United States Postal Service. I can give the option of FedEx, and I can um, tell people that I'm shipping stuff with Greyhound if that's the way I choose to do it. Um, you have to keep in mind, if you're shipping with a more expensive shipping option, that cuts into your bottom line, and you have to uh, get all these supplies and materials to pack things up with. Um, I will put an affiliate link for some boxes and some peanuts and tape I go through tape more tape than you could possibly imagine so I buy tape in bulk because if you buy that individually that gets really expensive um it is probably going to be better for you to find stuff locally uh find a big shipping place I buy a lot of u-haul boxes because they're fairly inexpensive and if you don't use them they will take them back uh, you can use Uline, which is one of the big shipping people but they actually charge postage and the postage sometimes is outrageously expensive and it makes your bottom line with the boxes and your materials just crazy. Um, Staples is a good resource also. Um, if you spend, I think it's over $50, they'll ship everything for free. So if you're buying large boxes, it's worth it to do that. Um, I try not to keep any big inventory on hand anymore because storing large shipping boxes and peanuts and tape and bubble wrap, I mean, it's a lot. You almost need a whole room for that. And I just don't have that anymore so I try to sort of pick through um, the stuff locally that I can get uh, that will allow me to, um, to pack stuff up still uh, pretty safely okay so here's what I'm getting packed up um, I've got a couple of chairs I'm going to sort of slide over and up you can see my chairs that I've got wrapped up in green plastic I get the green plastic from U-Haul um, and I'm going to double these chairs up into some boxes. I just went and got some boxes. I'll show you that. I'm going to come around here. I'm just going to flip this around. Let's see if you can see me. Not really. But you should be able to see me here. So this is a piece of art I just sold. I also wrapped it up in this plastic. And then U-Haul sells something called a picture packer. Um, so I bought the picture packers. I'm gonna kind of um, tip it over. Sorry, I just realized that after I did the other video on um, how to pack jewelry up, I should probably also do a video on how I pack my large stuff up, but I didn't think about it until I had already got the stuff kind of together here. So you're coming in kind of at the end, but you should still get the general idea of what I'm doing. So sometimes I have to piece stuff together to make it the right size which I actually did in this instance. Like I said, I'm gonna tip this over so you can see I've wrapped up the piece of art here in green plastic and I've put picture packers on all four sides and then you tighten it up with this guy. This picture packer thing is awesome. And um, U-Haul also sells these boxes. Um, U-Haul is fairly inexpensive for moving boxes and they also work um, really great. Sorry, I'm gonna pull this up so you can actually see me. Hey. So they also work really great. Turn my light ring on so you can really see me. They also <laughs> work really great for shipping stuff um, through the postal service or FedEx, sometimes with big packages. I ship them FedEx and with the chairs I'm going to because it's much cheaper to ship through FedEx than it is to ship through um, the United States Postal Service once stuff gets over 108 inches 
which is a combination of the um, width and girth of a box all the way around it plus the length. Um, so I put together two picture boxes which actually kind of works out pretty well it's like I said it's more expensive um, but it gives you basically a double walled box single walled boxes are thinner double wall boxes are a little thicker and they have a higher weight rating and they kind of can withstand some wear and tear a little bit better than um, maybe a single wall box can so if you got something that's glass or maybe a little bit more fragile that double wall single double wall excuse me that double wall ends up being a little bit better for you so I've got my stuff in my and my thing here I'm gonna pull out a little bit and I will um, be back because I actually fill it up with packing peanuts which I have but they're not in the room so I'm gonna go grab them and I'll show you how I fill those up and then I'll kind of run through packing up um, the boxes for the chairs Okay, sorry, I'm gonna play with my camera here a bit just so I can get the right angle. So I got my box here, it's got my picture packers in it, it's got my art. I buy um, peanuts in bulk when I do this sort of thing. So this is a um, 20 cubic foot bag of peanuts. You can see how big it is. It's kind of a nightmare to store, but it's a lot cheaper than buying peanuts, say again from New Holland, they sell us a tiny little bag, it's like $2. So if you're only packing like a few small things here and there and it's not worth it for you to store this big bag, then absolutely don't get a big bag with a small bag. But I get this at a packing and shipping place. It's kind of in an industrial side of town. It's $20 for the whole bag. So it works out to a dollar a cubic foot, which is really cheap. Um, and it cuts down my handling costs, which is really important because um, I have to buy boxes and do all that sort of stuff too. So. It can get really expensive, um, and if you're selling larger stuff, you need to keep that in mind. Your um, handling costs, again, like I said in my other um, video with uh, shipping jewelry, I don't charge handling fees anymore. Um, you actually get a discount to ship on Etsy and eBay, but it gives the seller the retail price, so you get a little bit of a discount. So I just kind of, um, think of that discount being my handling charge and I don't put a handling charge in there. Um, I'm also um, asking a decent retail price for things. I'm not selling it too cheap, so I'm not really worried about losing a little money um, on shipping and handling every once in a while. I, it's not something I want to make a habit of. Again, I don't provide free shipping. Um, so it's something you have to keep in mind. Um, if I was charging a handling cost, I think between the boxes and the picture packers and this, it probably cost me about $20 to get it together. So it's not cheap, um, but I did get um, quite a bit of money for this piece of art. So again, like I said, I'm not really concerned about it. And I really want to make sure that stuff gets there safe. I got on, it's such a hassle to try to file a claim with either the post office or FedEx. It's, it's just such a nightmare. It's, it's way worth spending the money to make sure that stuff gets packed up really well than to um, spend your time and energy trying to placate an unhappy customer because something has arrived broken or filling out insurance forms and all that nonsense. You're better off just doing the job rates, um, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But um, it's worth doing the job right to not have all the hassle in the end because uh, something has broken. I've learned that the hard way. All right, so I filled it up with um, packing peanuts. All I have left to do is put my label on here and I'm gonna write a little bit more. Uh, this says fragile, do not lay flat, but I'm gonna add some extra fragile writing on here because I don't, again, I don't want the package to get damaged and flat. Um, and that that I don't want to break in shipping. I like to take these on. You can also get sticky labels, uh, but they're kind of expensive. And again, if you're concerned about your bottom line, it just takes a little bit more effort to um, put that on there. So I'm writing fragile all over my box. 
That way there's no confusion. Again, there's nothing worse than selling something that's kind of expensive and nice, taking your time to get it all packed up, and then having it end up damaged, and you're on the hook to um, refund their money while you wait for insurance to be paid out, which is always a nightmare. I'm sure all of us have had terrible experiences trying to get insurance money back when there's been some sort of accident. So this one's ready to go. I'll come back when I'm packing up those chairs. All right, I'm back. So um, I've been packing and shipping big and little stuff for about 11 years and I've become kind of a magician at piecing together boxes to get the size box I need for the least amount of money. And again, here I'm using U-Haul boxes. And um, these are actually a box made to ship, uh, to package and ship clothes, but they kind of work out at a really good size to put chairs in. But unfortunately, I can't just use one box because they're too tall. So I'm gonna have to cut this box in half and piece the two boxes together. And again, um, it's something that if you're selling furniture and you're doing big stuff, you kind of need to get really good at because you can't afford to take it to FedEx or UPS all the time and have them pack and ship stuff. It's really expensive. It cuts into your bottom line. Um, so taking an hour or so to try to get something packed up the right way is always smart. Now, in the meantime, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna stop and keep you running and I'm gonna speed it up and play some music so you can kind of see everything I'm doing really quick um, and you don't have to listen to me talk the whole time and it's not slow. But I'm gonna cut one of these boxes in half I'm gonna wrap some bubble wrap around those chairs to give them a little bit more protection. And my packing peanuts here, again, my gigantic bag. I'm gonna fill the empty spaces in that box up with packing peanuts. Um, according to the post office, if you have items, or any of them, if you have items that are breakable, you have to have at least two inches of packing material between the product and the wall of the box. So I've got this set up to do that with the bubble wrap. Again, I've wrapped them in this green plastic and I'll show you that. I also get that from U-Haul, but you can get it from just about anywhere. Um, I buy kind of a larger one because it's easier, but they have three sizes. Uh, they're tough to manage. It's kind of a nightmare to do it. But if you have your items shipped with a professional mover, they're going to come with this stuff and wrap everything up so it doesn't rub up against each other. It gives it a little bit more protection. And it saves on these peanuts. So if I wrap up the chairs in the plastic, there's a lot less empty space in there that needs to be filled up by packing peanuts, um, which you don't need in the middle of the legs of a chair or anything like that. It's not going to add or afford any protection. So it saves, buying this guy is going to save you money on, on um, the packing materials, which are pretty expensive. So um, like I said, I'm going to fast forward the rest of this so you can um, see me kind of get it all together.
I hope this helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, of course, I'm going to throw um, a subscribe button in here. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to throw a link for another video in. Please check out that other video. If you liked it, please comment. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, thanks again for your time. I, I hope it helps.